Hey, and welcome back to the channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be making a type of bowl that I've never made before. I've made hundreds and hundreds of bowls on the lathe, but today's bowl is going to be made on the workbench. So a friend of mine who's currently retired, just retired last month, I asked her, said, I'll make you a bowl for your retirement. She said, can you make me a dough bowl? I had no idea what that was. So I had to look it up online and there's an example of a dough bowl. There's an example of a dough bowl and there's an example of a dough bowl. So apparently a dough bowl is typically an elongated shape, rectangle shaped bowl used to make dough just as it sounds, just had never seen it before. So this piece of walnut is about 10 inches by 18 inches by about two and three eighths inches thick. So we're going to take this, have at it with the angle grinder and see if we can't make a dough bowl for the first time ever. Thank <laughs> you. 
Well, we're almost finished with our dough bowl. The only thing left to do is to apply the finish. For the first time, I'm going to use a finish I've never used. It's called a Mahoney's finish. This is just the, their utility finish, which is pure walnut oil. Pretty simple to use, just bathe it on, uh, let it sit for about an hour. And during that hour, you check it every 15 minutes to see if there's any areas that have absorbed a little bit more of the oil. You can reapply and then uh, at the end of that hour, wipe off the finish and it'll cure over maybe a week to 10 days. But it is safe to use immediately if you'd like. And uh, using this grinding wheel was an interesting experience. It certainly did work and it still feels pretty sharp after all that grinding. So it's a decent set for, I think it was about $20 on Amazon. But I did find it just easier after using this for a couple of minutes to determine how much material it removed, just to go over to the drill press and remove uh, probably a third to a half of the material using a Forstner bit. It just made uh, the grinding process go a lot quicker. And this does uh, cut pretty big gouges in the wood as it's removing material. So I had to start sanding with 40 grit. And then I think I went to 60, 80, 120, 180, and then 220 before um, to the point now where I can apply my oil. So let's go over to the finishing station and put some walnut oil on this and see how it looks. It's always a treat to see walnut get oiled and see how that grain pops. And now the moment we've all been waiting for. I set up a Ford and boy, I put wood finish on hundreds, maybe thousands of things over the years and it never gets old seeing the grain pop. So let's go ahead and just prepare this and whoop, see what happens. Spray on some oil. First time ever using this product. And we'll wipe it in. Yep, yeah. uh, nothing like oil and walnut for the first time. It's beautiful. Oh, look at that. Very nice. There you have it. We'll let this sit for a little bit. We'll definitely be coming back, putting more oil on the end grain profile here on the outside, but this looks pretty nice.